All right, we're going to take you south a bit, give you a shot from Tacoma. Oh, or maybe we won't. <laughs> <laughs> My director says, no, nah, no, we're not. So let's get to meteorologist Adam Claybon. You saw the, the uh, picture over Angela's shoulder there. Beautiful yeah. evening uh, here in the North Sound and mountain was out. Just another gorgeous day. That's so right. Uh, so Greg and Jessica, good evening to you. Uh, that shot behind Angela, it almost didn't even look like it was real. It's been so clear outside and we have moisture that has now decreased throughout the day after we had some fog around this morning, but then we're going to start to build some back into the atmosphere as we go deep into the night and into the day tomorrow, which will help to bring in some additional cloud coverage for the day tomorrow. But since we had all that sunshine and also more of a strong east wind coming from the foothills and that helped to warm us up a bit and well earlier today SeaTac we got up to 60 degrees and that will tie a record if it's officially recorded from the record of 1939. So uh, something really, of course, that was neat today. And just overall, it was a really nice day. And as far as high temperatures across the area, most of us did get into the upper 50s. Now, this is a current look at La Push, and that shot looks pretty nice too for us as the sun gets ready to set and still looking pretty nice outside as we take a look at the city of Seattle. 52 with maybe more of a wind coming out of uh, the south for many of us. But a lot of us will start to notice those winds weakening as we head on into the night, especially through the passes and along the foothills where we saw some of those winds between about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now, as we go into a lot of the region, we're going to see that these current temperatures that we're noticing right now will continue to stay more around the lower 50s and the upper 40s here for the evening, like Bonnie Lake, our uh, school net site reporting 48 degrees for our current number there and other spots 53 in Bothell, 44 in Clallam Bay and right now at 46 in McCleary uh, seeing some of those same numbers. Now let's talk about the satellite and radar picture. It's quiet here. We still have that air stagnation advisory until 10 a.m. Careful if you are a little more sensitive to the poor air quality. Systems will be riding up and northward, but the one that we have over the Pacific Ocean that's going to be heading closer to the region here and helping to spray some cloud coverage over our way across western Washington, but that looks like it's just going to be about it for us. High thin clouds coming into the day tomorrow, so you'll notice here as we take a look at your UW high resolution model that we're seeing more of a milky color starting to show up here as it pushes its way on through western Washington. So that's some high thin clouds which will filter the sunshine a bit, but we'll still see a decent amount of it as we head on into the day tomorrow. This is uh, heading into Friday morning. We're starting to notice a lot of that beginning to decrease, but uh, we'll still have some patchy fog early into Friday morning and then we'll go into Friday afternoon. Seeing more sunshine ahead tonight dropping down around the freezing point. So more patchy frost possible, but more of the fog in place and maybe just slightly warmer tomorrow morning in comparison to the past couple of mornings. Topping off at 50 again on Friday, Saturday we'll be at 50. And as we head on into uh, the weekend, we have some more shower chances that could be around for us, Jessica and Greg, as we head into the latter part of Sunday and more so Monday and Tuesday. Pretty okay. good looking week. It just keeps on coming. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, thanks.